Residents and visitors of Toronto can embark on an adventure on the Kajama ship. Before the existence of modern highways and railways, ships were the fastest and main method of transportation for cargo to various parts of the world. Every nation took pride in its vessels and much competition existed between the nations to own the strongest and most powerful fleet of ships. The Kajama Tall Ship was among such elite ships of the past century. The Kajama ship is a three-masted, gaffed rig churner with a height of 165 feet. The ship was built and launched in the water in 1930 in the German city of Rendersburg. The ship was used to transport cargo from northwestern Spain to western Europe, Norway and Russia. The first captain who christened the boat was Captain Wilhelm Wilkins. The ship's name originates from Wilkins' own family, abbreviated from the first letters of the names of his children, Kaylee and Jan, and wife Maria. Now, for almost 80 years, Kajama has been freely sailing the seas and oceans and is widely known in all parts of the world from the shores of Europe to Russia and as far as the harbors of Africa. In the 1990s, after a long search, the Shuna was located in the ports of Norway. It was being used to transport crop along the German coast. The ship was missing its deck and its mass required restoration. After a few months in discussions, the Kajama ship was purchased by the Great Lakes Schooner Co., who navigated the ship through the Atlantic to the Great Lakes. In 1999, Kajama arrived in Toronto, where restorations began taking place. All traces of the age of the ship, both internal and external, were removed. They were instead replaced by new trimmings and systems. The passenger suites were modernized as well. The ship's exterior was also updated with installations of tens of meters of rope and the addition of more sails. After many long months of work, Kajama set sail in the fall of 2000. Since then, it has sailed more than 7,000 square feet of lakes, seas, and oceans. For a ship that has spent many decades in the rampaging waters of our great planet, it looks phenomenal. On August 15th, the old-style schooner, which is currently used for relaxation and entertainment for residents and visitors of the Great Lakes, will celebrate its 80th birthday. Today I am visiting the tall ships. They are all from the United States, the Netherlands, um, one from Canada. I had a really, really good time on the ship. Actually, today we visit the Kamajama. I think that's the name and um, also um, we went out sailing today which was really really beautiful I had a great time and I met my r lovely Russian friends here I had a great time in Russia I visited Russia I traveled from St. Petersburg all the way to Moscow I travel on the Volga River um, while traveling on the Volga River I learned a lot about the Russian culture. I visited lots of churches, cathedrals. Um, the most amazing place was Peterhof. I had a wonderful time. I met amazing friends. My friends on the ship taught me how to speak Russian. And um, I love Russia. I will visit Russia again. And I have a Russian sister there. So it was lovely having my Russian friends here. Thanks a lot and all the rest from Canada. The modernized Kajama is also equipped with a large deck, with a beautiful view of the waters and shore. A wide staircase leads down into a banquet hall, where guests are invited for both lunch and dinner. The banquet hall is an open 1,006 square feet space with a large skylight providing natural light and circulation of air. The schooner comfortably accommodates up to 225 guests. Even more beautiful is the experience of sailing on the ship under its tremendous sails. A cruise on the ship is a non-comparable enjoyment and an amazing opportunity to experience in real life and not through books about pirates or sea adventures or through word of mouth the true history of the sea.